What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Mastermind. It's Grant Finley Sheriff, co-founder and CEO of Parkbench.com, and excited to talk to you this week about retargeting, about the most affordable and effective way to keep your brand in front of people. That's what uh, this technique does. I'm going to educate you about it. We're going to talk about it. Um, and uh, at the end, if you don't want to do this on your own, if you don't know how to do this on your own, you just don't want to, then we can help get it done for you. Okay, this is a deep dive. We're doing a deep dive today into retargeting. So if you have questions about retargeting, then please let me know in the chat box. I'm going to show you two things right now. Okay, these are the benefits um, of retargeting. So these are two clients that we do it for. And depending on the size of their database and the amount of time um, that we do retargeting for, you can have tens of thousands of brand impressions or hundreds of thousands uh, of brand impressions. And the person on the left paid 75 to $100 to get 10,000 brand impressions. Okay, so if you were to try to get 10,000 pieces of flyers, okay, 10,000 flyers divided by 25 cents a flyer, okay, that would be 2,500 bucks. And he paid about $7,500, you know, and if, and if you're paying 50 cents a flyer, it would be $5,000. That's the benefit of retargeting is you can get these brand impressions for so, so, so cheap. The person on the right paid $1,000 to have a big brand awareness and retargeting campaign done. So not only did they get new people, to see their brand, um, but they also got people who already know them to continue to see it. So for $1,000 to get 100,000 brand impressions in one month, okay? Who here would like those kind of results? All right, everyone, please say hello in the chat box. Let me know who you are, where you do business, and what questions do you have about retargeting? Why are you here today? What do you want to know? Um, and we can get started. Now, before uh, everyone starts rolling in and saying hello and asking their questions, okay, uh, quick announcements, okay? Reminder, referral promotion. If you refer three people who join Park Bench between July 1st and September 30th, then you will have your next year with us for free. No matter what your yearly fee is to be a part of the Park Bench family and have exclusivity to your area, if you refer three people who join the Park Bench family between July 1st and September 30th, then you will have your second year for free. Okay, so if you want to put some names in the chat box of people that we should get in touch with, put that in the chat box. If you want to email support at parkbench.com, the people, your referrals, email support at parkbench.com, or the best way, the best way to get your friends connected to us is to email them and CC, you know, your account executive, your account manager, or support. You know, maybe, you know, you worked with Silas or Andrew or David or Tyler or Adam or whoever your person is, email connect them with uh, your person and say, hey, hey, friend, uh, I, I wanted to let you know about Park Bench. Um, this is a new company that I'm a part of. Here are the reasons why I signed up. I get exclusivity. I want to get out in the community. I want to serve the community. I want to build my brand. I want to build my database. I want to get more leads through relationships, not through advertising. Whatever the reasoning may be, 
okay? Um, you let your friend know through email, hey, here's why I signed up. Here's why I think you should sign up. You're really friendly and personable. You also focus in a geographic area. I think your area is available. Um, you're really great with people. And I know you're looking to grow your business. And so here's why I think you should check them out. I don't know if it's for you or not, but I think you should check it out. So um, you tell, you know, you tell your friends via email why you signed on, why you think they should check it out. You connect them with us. We'll do a demo with them. You know, I'd say one in two, one in three people who get a demo usually do this because it's great, right? That, that's, that's usually what happens. One in two to one in three people who take a look at the demo usually come on board because we're great. <laughs> um, and we definitely serve a need that is unserved by a lot of companies out there. Okay. Um, so that's announcement number one. Get the referral contest number uh, going. Number two is the 30 in 30. Okay. Reminder, if you submit 30 interviews in 30 days, any 30-day span between July 1st and September 30th, if you have uploaded 30 interviews in 30 days between those time periods, you will get $1,000 off your renewal. Okay? Um, so we want to encourage more realtors to do this 30 and 30 because every single time a realtor has done this they've got leads they've got clients they've got referrals they have just really catapulted their business forward so we want more people to do 30 interviews in 30 days and we're going to reward people for doing that to inspire more people to do it okay um and announcement number three, and we'll talk about this again, but we have now launched a marketing team, a marketing division, okay? We're doing a deep dive into retargeting today, but if you want buyer leads, if you want seller leads, if you want retargeting done for you, if you want marketing automation done for you, if you want social media management done for you, if you want, instead of to hire, a, instead of having to think about hiring, uh, and going through the recruiting and the interviewing and the hiring and the training process and committing to someone part-time or full-time to be your marketing person. And maybe you want to stop using your transaction coordinator to do marketing for you because they're not a marketing expert. So if you want to have a marketing person do your marketing for you, and not and and have the ease of just having it done for you that's what our goal is is to prevent agents from using their transaction coordinator from doing their marketing and to help agents from not having to think about the recruiting the interviewing the hiring the training and the management of these people for you to be able to tell us hey i want buyer leads hey i want seller leads hey i want retargeting hey i want social media management hey i want some blogging done hey i want some seo done whatever marketing you want for your business we have a marketing team that can do it for you um, and they will be at very competitive rates because you're already a client compared to all the other marketing companies out there so you just let us know what you need and want and you email okay support at parkbench.com what you need and want when it comes to marketing and we will let you know if we can do this for you um, and and our rates Okay, now let's get into retargeting. Okay, so today we're going to do a background, a deep dive into retargeting. You know, Lisa, I wish I knew that before I signed up 6K with another company. I wish you knew that too. I apologize. That is my fault. Can you... Um, what you know, email Lisa? I'd love to know what that company does for you for six thousand dollars, because maybe we can figure out how you can um, get more bang for your buck. At the end of the day, get more bang for your buck. Not screw the company over, but at the same time, do what's best for your business. So, if you have already committed um, to using another company for any of for any advertising or marketing services, and you want us to analyze who you're with, how much you're spending, what you're getting out of it, so you can see if we can find a way for you to get more out of that spend or if we can figure out how you can um, maybe switch without spending more money, um, then email support at parkbench.com. Okay, tell them. Actually, send these ones to me. 
because I'll be able to analyze it better. And I'll be able to analyze what you're doing, how much you're spending for what you're doing and what you're getting out of it to help you get the most out of that money, whether that's with us or just continuing on with that company. I'll, I'll help you get the most bang for your buck. And if I can find a way to help you switch over so you can get more for less, uh, I will do that as well. So send me that email. Okay. Um, hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Diane. Good morning, Sonny and Marsha and Gwen, Barbara. Hello. So if you have any questions, so today we're talking about retargeting. Okay. Who here does retargeting? Say yes. I do retargeting or no, I don't do retargeting. Let me know in the chat box if you do it or don't do it. Let me know why you don't do it or you do do it. If you do it, tell me why. If you don't do it, tell me why. Okay. Um, and if you have any questions about this marketing strategy, okay, put that in the chat box. Okay. Let's do an introduction. Now, this one, this slide deck is catered to Facebook. Okay. There's two places that you can do. So get your pad and paper out, okay, and get ready to take some notes, okay, because even if you don't use our service, our goal is to empower agents to be able to do retargeting on their own, and they'll only pay Park Bent or another company because of the convenience for the ease, the peace of mind, okay? We have all the training in the world to help you do it on your own if you want to save some money, or you can uh, do it with us. Now, this slide deck caters to Facebook, but you can actually do retargeting in two places, Facebook and Google. Those are the two networks that you can do retargeting on, okay? The concept of retargeting is really simple, okay? Um, let me get down to the retargeting. Okay, so, all right, we're going to focus on retargeting today, okay? So here is the concept of retargeting. I wonder if there's a chart here, okay? Is there a good visual? I know I have it on somewhere. Okay, the example of retargeting is... If you go to Amazon and you search for products and you leave, most of you will notice that you will see ads for the things that you looked at on Amazon on other websites. You'll see them on Facebook, you'll see them on CNN, you'll see them on Kijiji, you'll see them on all sorts of websites. If you notice that you have ads that seem to follow you around the internet, okay, um, that's the essence of what retargeting is. The idea that you can have your brand follow people around as they cruise around the internet. And the two companies that have the networks of websites to keep your brand in front of people are Facebook and Google. Okay. Now, there's three different for you, because you're with Parkbench, there's three different ways that you can retarget people. There's three groups of people that you can retarget. Okay? You can retarget, okay, your, your, um, your database. Okay? So if you have a database, who here has a database of emails larger than 250 emails. If you have a database larger than 250 emails, okay, say yes, I'm above 250 and say the number. How big is your database? Put that number in the chat box. Okay? And I'll and I'll respond to some of your questions in a sec about AdWorks and and uh, how it works. Okay? So you can retarget your database. You can retarget all the visitors to your personal website. Okay, in order to retarget the people who visit your personal website, you need 
at least 100 visitors per month. Write that down. I need at least 100 visitors per month. Okay. So, okay, you need at least, this is an example of a proposal for you. I'm trying to find some images. My team did not give me the appropriate stuff. Okay. You need at least 100 visitors. Who here knows that they have more than 100 visitors to your website on a monthly basis? Not page views, people, unique visitors. Who has more than 100 unique visitors to your personal website? Who here knows how many people visit your personal website? Um, Put that in the chat box. Let me know in the chat box how many unique visitors you get on average to your personal real estate website. Put that in the chat box. Okay. And yes, I will send all these documents to everyone at the end. I'll send a bunch of ongoing materials at the end of this mastermind. I've got a bunch of materials. I've got some an ebooks. I've got some uh, reporting templates. I've got some proposal templates. I've got um, some uh, some ad templates that you can see. I've got some blogs that you can read. So at the end of this mastermind, I'll send you a plethora of, of information that you can use um, to either do this on your own or um, we can have a one-on-one -on -one after so you, we can talk about doing it for, your, for yourself, okay? So you can retarget your database. You need to have a database of over 250 people. If you have that, say so in the chat box and put how many you have. The second group of people that you can retarget and keep your brand in front of people are all the people who visit your personal website, okay? So your personal website needs to have at least 100 people that visit it on a monthly basis. If you have that, say, yes, I have that, okay? Um, and put the number of how many people visit. The second, the third batch, this is exclusively just for you guys because you're with Park Bench, the third batch of people that you can retarget, and this is the reason why you're going to want to use us to help you do retargeting versus AdWorks because AdWorks does not have access to Park Bench. So AdWorks is a retargeting service. Among other things, they're a digital advertising company, and they're great. I like, I know Jed, the owner, great company. It's grown a lot. Lots of people use it. Okay, they're just going to be more expensive than us because you are their only client for their for their services. We can do the same thing as them, if not better. I could debate that we could do it better, but let's just say that we do the exact same thing as them. We will just do it for less because you are our client already. So we don't need to charge you as much to add on other services. That's just the big benefit. Uh, I actually do think we're better because we'll be more customized, more personalized, where theirs is more cookie cutter. Um, but, you know, I don't want to, you know, say that they probably can't do something. Um, I just know that bang for buck, we will do better than them because you're already our client. The third thing that um, the third group of people that you can retarget are all the people who visit your park bench website. So who here is logged into their control panel, seen their, um, pay, their website analytics, um, and has seen that more than 100 people visit their Park Bench website on a monthly basis, okay? Who here has more than 100 people visit their Park Bench website on a monthly basis? If you don't have the website analytics tab in your control panel, say, I don't have the website analytics tab in my control panel because we just need to turn that on for you. It should be turned on for everyone, but if it's not, please let us know. If you don't know even what I'm talking about, then log into your ParkBench site right now, go to your control panel, and check out your website analytics and see, are there more than 100 people, not page views, people visiting my ParkBench website on a monthly basis, okay? Um, if so, say yes in the chat box, okay? If you don't have that tab, say, I don't have that tab, and I will make sure my team gets you that tab, okay? So once again, the three prerequisites for retargeting are you have a database of over 250 emails. If you have that, but you don't have the traffic, that's okay. You can start to retarget your database. The next minimum requirement 
okay, is to have at least 100 visitors to either your personal website or your park bench website. The goal is that you have both a database of more than 250 emails, you have more than 100 people who visit your personal website, and you have more than 100 people who visit your park bench website on a monthly basis. That's the goal. Okay. Um, now let's talk about how to get your database bigger. Okay. Everyone in the chat box, what is your best practices? What are your best strategies for how to get more emails? How do you get more emails? Okay. I'm going to show you another company right now. Okay. I've developed a partnership with them. Okay. To get preferred pricing. Okay. Here's this new tech company. Okay. That I interviewed. Okay. And everyone in the chat box, I want you to answer this question. How much would you pay to be able to get the name, the cell phone, the email, the home phone number, and the social media links to the homeowners in your neighborhood? How much would you pay per homeowner to get all their contact information with 75% accuracy? Would you pay a dollar to get their name, number, email, phone number, home phone number, mobile phone number, email addresses, social media links, Facebook, okay? How much would you pay per homeowner? Put that number in the chat box. How much would you pay to get their contact information? Okay. For everyone who doesn't have the analytics tab in your control panel, I will make sure my team gets you that added to your control panel. That's just a simple thing that we turn on. Okay. Okay. My two questions right now, everyone in the chat box, write these answers. How much would you pay, okay, per contact information to get name, address, home phone number, mobile phone number, emails, social media links? Okay. And how do you right now get that information? What are your best strategies to getting contact information for all the homeowners so you have their emails so you can retarget them. What are your best practices? Okay, let's mastermind right now to get the database built to get more people. Yes, you can do more interviews. Okay. Yes, you can do more interviews, but what else? What else can you do? Because I've created a partnership to get you guys preferred pricing on um, buying contact information, okay? And what you do with this company, um, I'm going to get everything set up. So who is interested in buying, okay, homeowner contact information? Where all you're going to do is you're going to circle an area on the map of 100 homes, 200 homes, 500 homes, or you can you can say here's a zip code, and I want you I want to buy the contact information for all the four plus bedroom, four plus bathrooms because I know they're a higher price point. Okay. So if you're interested in being able to do that, saying take your park bench area and saying, I'd like to buy the contact information for all the people who live in these kinds of homes, okay? The regular price um, with, through this company comes to around 50 to 75 cents per contact, okay? And so we're going to be getting a preferred price, okay, for park benchers, all right? So that you guys don't have to pay the same amount, Okay, so you can either buy it, okay, 
what else? What are your other ways of getting people's contact information, especially emails? Because you need more emails to get um, to do retargeting. Because retargeting is the cheapest way to keep your brand in front of people once you have their email. But the thing you got to think about is how to get people's emails. You can either buy it or you can do more interviews or you can do open houses and collect their information or you can do a email gathering campaign on Facebook. So one of the things that you can do on Facebook okay is you can do campaigns to get people's emails so you can do campaigns where you give people ebooks and checklists and templates hey ebook on how to sell your home for more ebook on how to negotiate uh, a better price for home hey ebook on how to invest in real estate Hey, ebook on how to sell your home on your own. Hey, checklist on things to do before you buy a home. Checklist things to do before you sell a home. Okay, these are things that you can create, then do an advertisement with, and people can enter their email to download, okay, these lead magnets. It's called a lead magnet, okay? Because if you don't have a database of 250 emails, you need to get it done ASAP. This is going to be the fastest way to get it done because you can just buy it. The problem is if you just buy it, these people don't know you yet and you haven't given value to them. So another thing that you can do is you can offer eBooks and checklists and templates and do campaigns. Okay, so who here would like to do that? Who here has an eBook, a checklist, a template, a white paper to offer people in their community for free to gather people's emails? Who here has done marketing campaigns? Um, where they offer this. What have you done before? Let everyone know what you've done. And if you haven't done this before and you don't have a lead magnet like an ebook or a checklist and you want to run one of these campaigns, say, I'd like to run a lead magnet campaign. And that's something um, that I can send you more information to after this mastermind on how we can help you run a lead magnet campaign where now your brand offers people a item of value to collect people's emails um, and you can now do that to one elevate your brand elevate your reputation and get more emails so you can continue to keep your brand in front of them for a whole lot less okay you've got to figure out how to do a database okay do more interviews do a lead magnet campaign and buy them okay those are the quickest easiest most effective ways to do it next You've got to get visitors to your website. If you want to retarget more people, you've got to get more visitors to your website. So in the chat box right now, what are your favorite ways to get people to visit your personal website? What are your favorite ways to get people to visit your park bench website? Okay, Remind is a great company, but it's not available in every state. If it's available in your state, you should check it out. Okay. Okay. Cole is another cool service, which is um, what some people are saying. Thanks for everyone. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Diane, for offering this. Okay. Will this list show people that are on do not call lists? Um, that's a good question. Natalie, I will find that out. What we'll do is we're going to do a presentation. Okay, I'm going to get him to do a presentation, a demo, okay, of his services to answer whatever questions. Okay, but I wanted to get some initial interest. If you guys are interested, I can bring him on for a, for a presentation to the group, and then you guys can get a preferred pricing on his services. Okay. Um, 
I met him at a conference and I said, hey, I lo- my agents will like this because when you buy their contact information, right, when you buy their contact information, not only can you use this contact information for retargeting, but you can now call these people to and ask them to be interviewed. You can call these people to ask them if they want to subscribe to the newsletter. It's a great way for you to get more lists of people, for you to do more prospecting, and you have a reason to call people that's not salesy and cheesy so you can talk to people and build a relationship, whereas most people who buy this information are just doing salesy scripts to all these people. You get to add value. You have a great way and a great reason to call people and talk to them. Okay, so what are your favorite ways to get traffic to your personal website and to get traffic to your park bench website? Obviously, if you do interviews and you promote those interviews and the person you interviewed promotes them, you are going to get 100 to 300 people per interview. That's what we see over and over and over again. Some interviews, yeah, sure, might get 50 people, but some of them get 500, 700, 1,000. We've had one interview get over 3,000 people view one interview. Okay. Great. I'm going to compile everyone's notes. Okay. I'm going to compile everyone's notes today. Okay. If you have any questions, okay, so express your interest in any of the stuff I've talked about. What are your favorite methods to um, to getting traffic to your personal website and to getting traffic to your park bench website? One of my fa- one of my my best method. This is my best method getting businesses to put up deals on the site and specifically the reward for a review i would push okay and 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 notice i said i would push businesses to put up a reward for a review and there would be a little bit of friction in the conversation where i'd be pushing them to do it because one i know it's in their best interest it's free it's going to help them get more reviews and they're going to be positive reviews and then they're going to rise up the search engines and they're going to make more money and they're not paying anything for it and i know that people that just have fears doubts worries insecurities and just you know excuses to hold them back so i'm going to push them and sell them on putting up a reward for a review when i do that i will then email support at parkbench.com and say hey this business wants to put this promotion up to reward people for a review. Can you please put it up? And can you please design review pawn business cards that I will then get a print company to print off for 20 bucks, a stack of 500. And I will give these cards to the business to hand out to their customers. One of the best ways to get people to go to your website your park bench website is to get businesses to put up a reward for a review, push them to do it. Then you're going to tell support to put the deal up and tell them to design review cards. And they're going to send you and that business, those cards to print off however many you want. And you are going to print off 500 of them and you're going to spend 20 bucks to print off 500 of these cards and you're going to go follow up to the business and you're going to give them that stack of cards and you're they're going to hand them out to your customers and that is going to drive a ton of traffic which gives you tons of brand impressions because you're on the side of every single page and it gets people to write reviews which now adds more people to the database more people to the newsletter more people for retargeting more people for that newsletter okay that business benefits they make more money and they didn't spend any money They just did something different, which is why I got to push them to do it, to get over their fears, doubts, and worries. And you are now going to have a machine that continues to get your brand out there over and over and over again. And that's why you do that with not just one business, but you do that with five businesses, 10 businesses, 20 businesses, and you will have a marketing machine that will be running without your effort anymore it'll take a lot of effort to get it started but once you've got it started the machine that will work for you will work like nothing that you've ever had for your business ever and that's what happened for me and it it can happen for you too you just need to make it happen 
Not wait for it to happen, not hope it happens, not wish it would happen, not wish it was easy for businesses to put up deals on the side and just tell their customers about it. Okay, make it happen. It's free. It's amazing value to those businesses, but you got to make it happen. Okay, you guys are leaders of the community. You guys are salespeople. You can do it. You just got to do it. Okay, if you have any questions about it, I'm happy to help. But it's really simple. I don't even want to over even overcomplicate it. You just need to get the businesses to put the deals up. Okay, come up with something. I used to make biz. I used to make deals up with the businesses. I used to sit there and they'd be like, I don't know. I'm like, well, let's think of something right now. I would I would figure out deals to put on the site for them, even if they have never done it before. Okay. And yes, Heather, businesses do have control. But I'm going to make it as easy as possible for them. I know that if I say, hey, you want to put the deals on the site? They're like, yeah, great. Just log in and do it. And if I walked away, they're not going to do it. And, then, and if I came up with a deal with them and they're like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to offer, you know, buy one, get one free. Awesome. All right. Just, just log on and just do it. They're like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it later. Yeah, great. All right. No, no. If I do that, they're never putting it up. Okay. The, the key to getting it, ha to making it happen is that you do it for them. They can log in and they can change it whenever they want. They can log in and, and edit it and take it down if they ever want to later. But for that first time, I am going to do it for them because I know the benefits to me if I do this. And they will appreciate the fact that I am doing extra work for them. So all, so I recommend to all of you, if you want to make this happen as fast as possible, you get the promotions from them. You email support, like like before I used to do, have to do everything because I didn't have a support team. I had to do it. I was a support team. You now all get to leverage our support team. So you just need to get the deals to say yes. Just get them to say yes, this is the deals. Then you email support the information. We will do it for you. We will get the cards designed. We'll send the design back to you. You go then print these cards, um, however many you want. The business will usually continue to print them after the fact because they'll start to see the benefits of this, and then they'll just keep doing it on their own. But I had to kickstart it, and you probably have to kickstart it too. Okay? So, Jane, once again, here's the sequence. Good question. Okay? Is I go interview the business, and then at the end of the interview, I get them to give me some deals to put on the site, and I specifically at get a review coupon, a coupon for a review or a review upon it. Okay, I get that deal from them. I get them to give me the promotion. I then email support at parkmesh.com saying, "Here's the promotion. Please design the cards. Our team will put that promotion up on the site for the business and for you. We will design the cards for free. We will send you back the design." with the bleeds and everything. So you just go to whoever printer you want to use, print however many of these business cards you want, and the card will say, hey, write a review, get a deal, parkbench.com slash business name. Whatever the handle is for that business, that's what these cards will look like. Um, actually, let me just review card. I even have one of them. Okay. Here's an example. Okay. Write a review, get a deal, parkmanscom slash business. So we will design these specifically for your businesses. Whenever you get this done, we will then send you back the designs. You send the file to a printer, you get them printed, and then you go to the, back to the business and you give them the cards. And I would even hand some out for the business to their customers. Help, Give them some more help, offer some assistance, talk to the locals, okay? Um, it's a great way to connect with locals. It's a great way to offer more value to the business. And then when that person writes a review, they automatically subscribe to the newsletter, okay? And in order for that person to get the deal, they've got to create an account on the website, they write the review, and that's why they automatically now get the newsletter, but now they get the reward, so they're happy to do it because they get the coupon. It's just this great system that works, okay? All right, all you have to do is get the promotion. Then you can email the promotion to us. We will do all the next batch of work, and then you just print the cards out and get the business to hand them out. It's a really great thing. That's going to get more traffic, okay? If you want more traffic to your site, you need to do more interviews and promote your interviews. 
and you need to get businesses to put up um, deals on the site and specifically the review pawn coupon for a review deal. And then you need to get the businesses to hand out the cards. Those are the two best ways to get more traffic to the website so you can start retargeting more people and having your brand stay in front of them. Okay. Any questions about that? Okay. In this example, okay, Solana Beach, okay, is the website. And this is the business. Okay. So we don't promote you on the card or else the business does not want to hand them out. Okay. And so, and it's okay because you're on every single page of the website. So the goal is to get people to go to the website and write the review and be now subscribed to the newsletter. That's the end goal. Okay. It's not to see your face on a business card. It's to get them to go to the website and write a review so that now they get the newsletter and they now benefit from the website. So it makes them want to go back to the website to get more benefits from the website. So that's why we keep the business card simple and we just have the business's handle on it. We have the neighborhood in on it and that makes them want to go to the website, okay? So don't ask us to put your information on these cards. We're not going to do it because it decreases the conversion rate of these cards. And the end-to-end -end goal that we're trying to get is to get people to go to the website and write a review and subscribe to the newsletter. It's not to see your name and face on a business card, okay? Um, so don't ask. We won't do it because we care about results. Um, first and foremost, okay? Now, can you solicit your own reviews on the site? You can. I would not recommend you do it at the exact same time that you're trying to get people to write reviews about a business, okay? One message, one simple message, okay? So, um, who here has businesses offering coupons on the website? If you do, Put a link to your website on the chat box with, uh, with the business um, business profile on your website that's got a deal. Okay, there's lots of them out there. Um, if you want to see a website with lots of deals, then you can go to parkrunscom slash LV. Okay, that's my original neighborhood. There's lots of businesses on there who put up deals and, you know, tons of savings happen on this website. That's how I got a thousand people to subscribe to my newsletter in three months because I had a thousand people go leverage the deals on the website and write reviews and get the deals and all those signups to get to save money turned into subscribers for the newsletter. Okay. Now back to retargeting. Okay. Okay. Let's run through. Okay, if you're going to do retargeting on your own, you're going to you have to set up an ad account on Facebook and Google. Okay? And this is how it's done. So once you've got your database and once you've got the visitors, okay? And you can do Facebook ads to drive more traffic to your personal website. You can do Facebook ads to drive more traffic to your interviews and to your Park Bench website. That's another thing that you could do. You could boost your interviews. Okay, you could do uh, an ad campaign to get people to go to your website, um, but I recommend you know that you just promote your interviews more and get people to go to your website that way and get businesses to put up deals on the site and then promote you know those deals to the community. If you want to do retargeting, once you've got your database, once you've got your visitors, you're going to go into your Facebook ad manager and you're going to create a campaign. And you're going to go for brand awareness. That's the benefits of retargeting. Okay, retargeting, let me show you another cool graph. Okay. Retargeting is online ads. Okay, it's this column right here. Okay. So retargeting is really good to get people who already know you, you already have their email, they've already visited your website, they already have seen you before, to keep seeing you. Retargeting is really good to increase the touch points with your database. It's really good because once you set it up, it takes no time, no effort, zero. It's very efficient. 
okay? And it can help new people know you. It can get people to like you and trust you. You can target specific people. It can help you to strengthen the relationships with people in your database. It can increase your profit if you're really good at it, okay? And so this is where you can either learn how to do this on your own or you can hire us to make sure it does these things for you. Because these half circles mean if you're a good marketer, when you execute a retargeting campaign, you can, you, you can create a design of, of an ad that pops, that makes people go, oh, this is nice. And you can add value in your retargeting campaign to get more people to like you and trust you. And so when you add value to people through your retargeting campaign, it'll strengthen the relationships with, with those people. You can also be really good at targeting specific people. Okay. Um, and so it can help you generate more leads. If you're constantly bringing people back to a page where you can get their information for a home valuation or market report or to, to conduct a real estate search, because that's the, the question when you do a retargeting ad, once you set your campaign up, the next question is, okay, hey, who am I targeting? Okay, and why? Am I targeting them because I want to give them uh, an ebook and I want to collect their email? Am I retargeting them because I want them to go search for homes and enter their information? Am I tar retargeting them because I want them to, um, say, fill out a form for a home valuation? Am I retargeting them because I want them to go back to, say, I would like a, a market report or, or a CMA? What is the reason why I'm retargeting them? And this is something that if you work with, um, if you work with us, we can do all of them. You just tell us, okay, we can give you a recommendation of what you should do, but you can tell us, hey, I would like my ad to have this kind of messaging this month. I would like, you know, for the ads that go in front of my database to say this. I would like the ads that go in front of my website, Parkbench, and my personal website audience to say this. And that's something that I know AdWorks does not do because they're trying to automate things. Okay, it's not as personalized, not as customized. Okay, um, if you do this on your own, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so if you do this on your own, you can say, hey, I want to target my audience on Facebook. Okay, where do I want these ads to be placed? So in the Facebook arena, you now say, do I want to pay to have ads be in people's feeds or on the right side or an in Instagram? Like, where do I want these ads to appear? Okay. Usually you want them to appear in all places. Maybe not the right column, maybe just the feed in Instagram. But you get more brand exposure if you select all of them. Then you create your ad to make it as visually appealing as possible. And this is where, you know, if you do this on your own, you've got to be good at creating ad creative and creating something that people will stop. Best practices are ads with people's faces in it cause people to stop. And so there are higher click-through rates. Ads with people's faces on Facebook are better than ads without people's faces. Okay, is there an automated way to send off a report list or white paper? So, David, once you create a, a, a campaign where you have your ebook or your white list, white paper or your checklist, whatever you're giving away, you have your lead magnet, the thing that people are downloading. Once you have that lead magnet, you set up a campaign on Facebook or Google to then put an ad in front of people that say, hey, click here to get this ebook on how to sell your home on your own. And then the ad gets people to go to a landing page where it shows them the ebook and there's a form that says, hey, enter your name and your email so you can get this ebook, so you can get access to this ebook. And then they fill out that form and then they get progressed to a thank you page where there is a download link to get that ebook. And now you've got their email, and then you can now make sure that email automatically goes into your database, which then 
a marketer needs to re-upload once a month or once a week, okay, depending on how many new emails you get. They take the new emails in your database and they add that to the retargeting campaign so that those people continue to see your ads over and over and over again. That's the flow. Okay. Um, okay, any questions so far? Yes, there, this webinar will be available again. You can click the replay link. Okay, if you have questions about retargeting, you can also email support at parkbench.com. If at any point you want to ask questions about retargeting or about a provider for retargeting, if you want to compare, okay, if you want a sounding board, okay, okay, you email us and we can help you figure out if you should buy a service or not. Um, or if we can do something for you at a better price. That's our goal. Our long-term goal, and this is why we've now launched this marketing division, is to do everything, be your in-house, even though we're remote, be your marketing person, marketing team, and be your tech team. That's our long-term goal, and we're finally able to start being your marketing team. So anything that you need for marketing, we usually can do it. And we've been, over the last few years, we've done retargeting, buyer leads, seller leads, pre-construction leads, uh, brand awareness, brand exposure campaigns, lead magnet campaigns for email database gathering. We've done traffic generation. We've done open house marketing. We've done exclusive listing marketing. We've done logos. We've done business cards. We've done print. We've done brochures. We've done it all. And uh, we, we now want to scale it up. Okay, we've done social media management, all of it. And we're now ready to do it for as many of you as you want. We're not here to force anyone to use these services, but if you want marketing help, we can do it. Okay, for business cards, okay, I recommend either ePrint, okay, or Creative Marketing. These are the two companies that can usually do uh, print marketing. Okay, if you want a affordable, the most affordable print, okay, is either creative, okay, Kyle at creativemarketing.ca, who's got park bench specials, or ePrint is just a really cheap provider that I know. ePrint fast, okay. If you want high quality Okay, market report brochures. Okay, we're building a partnership with Real Marketing. Okay, they're number one in the industry. Okay, who here, okay, who here wants us to do retar, who is interested in us doing retargeting for them? If you're interested in us doing retargeting for you and you have either, you have to have a database greater than 250 emails, you have to have visitors greater than 100 per month. If you meet those requirements, okay, then, then you can do retargeting. And if you'd like um, us to do it for you, okay, the starting plan, okay, $75 a month, you get up to 10,000 impressions. We know that you can get up to 10,000 impressions. It's all based on the size of the database. If you have a massive database, if you have a database greater than, okay, if you have a database greater than 2,000 people, if, 
if your database plus your um, visitors okay is greater than 2000 so say you have a database of 1500 and or two uh, yeah and more than 500 people visit your website a month okay then you will want to have a move up to a hundred or hundred twenty five dollar a month um, retargeting plan just you get more impressions because you have the capacity to send out way more marketing because you have such a big database and so much traffic okay um, if you'd like buyer leads okay say yes I would like buyer leads if you'd like seller leads say yes I'd like seller leads if you like retargeting say yes I like retargeting okay if you want this information so you can try to do it on your own say I want all the information so I can try to do this on my own and save some money happy to share that with you okay it's all about you doing this Okay, and either you're going to pay us because you just want an expert to just do it for you and just get it done quickly and not make mistakes, um, you know, um, and you're happy and willing to pay the, the fees um, for it. If you want to try to do it on your own, I can send you do-it-yourself guides so you can try to figure this out on your own. We just know that, hey, Retargeting is a no-brainer. It is the cheapest, most affordable way to keep your brand in front of people. And if you keep your brand in front of people, they remember you more. If they remember you more, then when it comes to the time where they need to realtor, they will think of you more often, and then you'll get more deals. Okay, Jane, you need to build your list. If you want, um, if you need help building your list, if you want to buy contact information, okay. Say, I'd like to buy contact information. If you want to run a lead magnet campaign to build your email list, say, I'd like to run a lead magnet campaign to build my email list. Okay. If you need help getting businesses to put up deals on the site, okay, say, I need help getting deals on the site and we can get sending you training on it. If you have businesses with deals on the site with a with review deals on the site and you don't have the review pawn business cards. Okay? If you have businesses who have put up review pawns on the site, coupons for a review and you want these business cards, say I'd like the review pawn business cards. Okay. If you want more visitors, okay, either you got to get businesses to put up review ponds and hand out those cards, or you got to do more interviews. Okay. You should be able to do more interviews. One interview should be able to do it. Okay. But you should, everyone should be doing at least one interview a week, if not two or more. Okay. Everyone should be doing at least an interview a week, if not two or more. Who here is doing more than one interview a week? All right? You're all here to build a business on relationships and referrals. And I know some of you don't do enough relationship building. Okay, at least one a week, if not two or more. The numbers are there. The the you know, Diane Moss is here and she knows, you know, um, she's been interviewed before. She knows her business has improved in so many ways from all the activity that she's done. Directly and indirectly because of Park Bench. She's become a leader of her community. She's database has grown. Her business has grown. Um, you just got to do it. Just got to do it. Okay. If you'd like social media management. Okay. We did a webinar last time. Okay. If you know that you're just not going to do it but you need to do it and you want someone to post for you one one high quality post a week on all your platforms or two a week or one a day okay if you want help with your social media okay um, then say I'd like help with my social media 
okay? If you have any questions about anything I've talked about today, please put that in the chat box, and then we'll wrap up in a couple minutes. Okay, otherwise, okay, rub the Grand Genie and ask me what you want. Okay, the Grant Lamp. Okay, ask, tell me what you want, and I'll do my best to help you get it. All right, that's why, that's why I want more and more of this. We're in a position now where my job is to be your genie and get you what you need and want. Okay, and whether that be we do it or I find partnerships to help you do it and I get you guys preferred pricing on things so you get lots of perks from being a part of the Park Bench family. Okay, either you get services for less from us or you get preferred pricing from someone else who can do something that I can't do. Okay, that's my job now for you all. You all just need to tell me what you need and what you want in your business. Um, can someone review what I already do and make recommendations on improve? Okay. So Janet, have you posted your interviews in the Facebook group? If you want real-time feedback, we have an amazing Facebook group. Who here is engaged in the Facebook group? Who here has helped other agents and given their two cents in the Facebook group? Share your interviews in the Facebook group so you can hear from your peers, okay? But I will get someone on my team to review your stuff and give you some feedback. Okay. But apart from getting feedback from us, okay, um, you should also put your put some interviews in the Facebook group, and your peers will give you some feedback, and that's valuable information as well. Okay. All right. I will send this information. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. That's great to hear. Okay. So, Natalie, what's your goal? Okay. So, Natalie, do you want – here, look, everyone should look at this. Look at, look at the metrics on the left side of this infograph. Okay. Look at the metrics on the left side of this infograph and write in the chat box the metric that you want help with or the metrics that you want help with. So, so Natalie, um, if we were going to do something for you, it's to achieve a goal. Is it you need new people to know you exist? Is it you want people who already know you to keep seeing you over and over and over again? Is it a bigger database of emails and contact information? Is it more SEO? Is it uh, more fans and followers on social media? Is it more buyer or seller leads or both? Um, is it, you know, what are the goals, okay, that you're going after? And then I can tell you how we can do it and how it differs from uh, AdWorks or other companies out there. And again, I like, you know, they have a good company. They've been able to serve a lot of agents at a great price, okay? But those agents weren't a part of the Park Bench network. And so, you know, for people who are part of, the Park Bench family, we should be able to do what other companies can do for less money. That's the goal. And then it's so easy because you just have one support person to work with. And who here loves our support? All right. Any, anyone want to give a shout out to anyone on the support team or anyone on the Park Bench team that you, have, that you appreciate, that you think do a great job? Let me know. I always love hearing... Uh, about my team so I can reward and thank some of the people on my team. Okay. Are there any questions about retargeting and how it works? Okay. This is the main benefits. Okay. Of retargeting. I will let Matt know. Thank you, Lisa. OK. 
Okay, I will send this ebook out to everyone. Thanks, Irene. Darren is amazing. Matt as well. Darren has been with us for almost three years. He is the rock of the CS team. So fast. He is so fast. Okay. If there aren't any questions, okay, I will send a really, be on the lookout for an email from me with a bunch of information about today. And then for all of your requests, okay, I will send personalized, myself or Ryan will send personalized uh, emails to each of you to help you out with all your requests. And maybe the next best step is going to be to jump on a call with Ryan and or I so we can figure out uh, how to get you what you need. Whether it be buyer leads, seller leads, social media, retargeting, um, database growth, all that stuff. Gwen, thank you. I know. I keep Darren happy. He gets raises every year. He also is a shareholder in the company. He's been that good and, and that, that solid and that committed and that loyal. Um, he is, he's got some shares in Park Bench because of that. He really cares about, about you all and about the clients and the experience and he's, he's quieter. Um, but he, he cares tons. All right. Well, thank you everyone for today. PB is not traded publicly. We are a private company. Um, we've thought about it uh, at some point as a way for people in the network to be a part of this. We've, we've thought about, you know, hey, look what EXP did. You know, can we do something similar to EXP, even though we might not be a brokerage? like EXP, can we do something like how EXP has their stock model for people who are a part of the network? Um, we've thought about, you know, doing a crowdfunding where we let people uh, invest in Parkbench, um, invest in our growth because we just have so many ideas of things to build, technologies to build. Irene, yes, I heard about that, and our team is putting some stuff together. So everyone, if you're listening still, Irene is going to be having a booth at a conference with a bunch of people that she can book interviews with and build relationships with, and um, we are designing some different marketing materials that she can have at the booth, and we've done this before in the past. We have done um, banners. We have done stand-up banners, like table banners. We've done flyers. We've, we've designed a bunch of different stuff that realtors can use if they want to have a booth or if they have a table where they want to share information about their park bench site. Um, thank you. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Barbara. Okay. So if you ever want to put on a have a table out in your community or have a booth at some event to promote your park bench website um, and to get build more relationships and offer more value to people then you just let us know that you want to do it and we will design this information for you and then you can go out there and print whatever you want um, in whatever quantity that you need we do have pictures um, Heather, so we can send you, okay, um, a bunch of stuff that we have done in the past and we can send people samples. Okay. So if you're interested in the event marketing materials in the booth marketing materials that realtors have done when they've wanted to, to do it, 
say, I am interested in booth marketing materials, and we can send you some templates and some examples. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Betty. Thank you very much. Okay. I will send this after. There's a bunch of, this is a really cool ebook that goes into Facebook ads. Okay. You know, how it works in detail. Okay. Where you have the campaign, then you build the ad sets and the ads. It gets a little more technical. Okay, so I'll send this to everybody. Okay, the major thing with retargeting that you have to get done is install a pixel on your Parkbench website, which we can do for you. Okay, so whether you do this with us or you do this on your own, we can install a Facebook pixel for you on your Parkbench site. You have to be able to do it on your personal website. So if, if you do, you know, use us and in, you know, in the setup phase, uh, we set that up for you. Then we help you create your audiences. Okay, and once again, remember, we you can target your website traffic or we can target your customer file. See how that's on this slide, your customer file or your website traffic. If you had an app, we could do that too, but you don't, um, or Parkbench doesn't. Um, maybe you do. Maybe you do have an app. I shouldn't say that you shouldn't. Um, so you set up your audiences. This is a walkthrough, right? So this is like, this is the work that we do. Right when people say like, "What do you do for your setup fee?" Well, well we do all of this um, for you. Okay, so um, the setup fee, okay, for um, a retargeting campaign, okay, is a one-time. I think it's five hundred. It's just a one-time that involves. Um, setting up your databases, your pixels in your personal website, your Parkbench website, creating all the ads, setting up the Facebook account manager, Google account manager, so you can see what we're doing. So just like a, this is another big difference between us and other companies, is other companies don't show you everything that they're doing. Okay, we will show you everything that we're doing. We want to be fully transparent. We want you to be able to log into your Facebook and Google and see everything that we're doing so that you know that we're doing it. Um, and so you can learn from it. And eventually, maybe you do want to take it on your own or get someone else to do it um, and stop paying us the money. That's totally fine. So um, if, the, if you need us to do a setup, then um, that's the setup fee just one time. If you do retargeting on your own and you just send us the pixel that you need us to add to your Parkbench website, then we'll do that for free. If you can just send us the pixel and just say, hey, can you add this to my Parkbench site? Um, then we'll do that for free. You just email that in to support at parkbench.com. Okay, so Kevin, good question. Does it install to one Parkbench site or all 26 pages a person may sponsor? All of them. So if you do retargeting, the pixel will be on every single one of the pages that you own. So every single page um, that you own, it could be on, not only is it all the neighborhood sites that you own, but all the pages inside all those neighborhood websites, no matter what page they land on, we tag them with that pixel. We put, we spend the time to get that pixel on every single page. Okay. Z57, I've heard of them before. Um, I will send you a personal email about that, Lisa. Okay. OK, 
Okay. I'll send that to you after. Good. What is a pixel? All right. So I'll show you an example of what a pixel is. Okay. So when you install a Facebook pixel, it's going to look like this. It's a little line of code. That's what that pixel looks like. It's a bunch of code, okay, that we get from Facebook, okay. Okay, you create we, you, you create the pixel on Facebook, you get that line of code, and then you put it in the footer. Usually you put it in the footer of your website. Usually you put it in the footer of your website, okay. the TV? I don't know. Okay, that's what the pixel means. Is that clear, Heather? Does that answer your question? The pixel looks like this. That's another example. Okay, Google's the same thing. There's a there's a pixel for Facebook. There's a pixel for Google. You know, um, when you're going through Facebook to set it up, it prompts you to set up the, get the pixel, right? View pixel code. Okay, and on Google the same thing. When you're setting it up, there's just a button to view the pixel code. Okay. Any other questions? Otherwise, I wish you all a fantastic week. Okay, next week, I will see you on Monday for another Mastermind where we're going to do a deeper dive, okay, into more forms of marketing. Okay, last week we did social media. This week we did retargeting. We're going to do a deeper dive into buyer and seller leads and how to execute them correctly because. Um, so much of it has to do with the scripting, has to do with the follow-up, and the way you talk to them. So, so, so important. Okay? Um, we will do that next week. All right? Thank you so much, everyone. Have yourself a fantastic week. Go be a local leader. Go do more interviews. Make businesses use the website so that they make more money and they want to now refer you business. All right. Thank you, Irene. Thank you all for being great clients to work with. I love doing this. I am so grateful to have such an engaged group of clients who want to, one, grow their business, two, do something positive for the community, um, and they're open to trying new things. So thank you all. Have a great week.